This is Justin Germino from DragonBelonger.com here to show you a little TechSmith Camtasia Studio tip. I'm using Camtasia Studio 8.4 and I noticed that I had a hard time figuring out how to resize images or callouts that I put into my videos. I kept wanting to trim them instead of resizing them, so then I figured it out after doing a little bit of digging around experimentation. I thought this video could help others who use Camtasia Studio 8.4, although I think it's the same instructions for 7.x and above. So let's say you have a video here and I'll just add one of my videos to a timeline here and I want to add say one of my logos and have it appear in the top corner so in my library I have one of my default transparent logos I like putting them on a separate track and I put it up in there by default and Camtasia Studio and sometimes when you add a logo to your video like especially if you've done ads before it'll be in trim mode by default you could tell if it's in trim mode which is this little button at the top left here at the top right top left you can tell if it's in trim mode because you will see that these little uh, corner bullets on the side of your image become squares squares means it's in trim mode which means it'll trim the call out or image or whatever you insert if you take off crop mode which is I call trim mode crop mode they will become circles circles is resize mode so then you could simply resize rotate you know do what you need to and then Control Z undoes, and then place the logo wherever you want on your, you know, your image or your or your video, and then you can add things like pull it over a little bit, and then add a little fade in white fade in transition, so that way as it comes in, this it'll is start Justin Germino from. Dr and then what you could do is make it drag it so it applies to the entire video, and that way it stays the entire duration of the video temporarily mute this so I don't have to have anybody hearing the uh, the video while I play so again see you got the fade in to the logo and then if you want you can even pull back and do a fade out and then basically resize it if it's not the right size you know I'll typically watch a video and if the placement of the logo it conflicts with what I'm showing in the video you may have to find a better place for a logo sometimes it's top right sometimes it's top left but keep that in mind when you create your videos think about if you're gonna brand them with a logo or a banner and to make sure you put it in a obscure location where it stands out but it doesn't obscure the product you're showing it doesn't block your face doesn't block your hands or in any way interfere with your ability to present what you're presenting in your video so that's just a little preview on how to use the the crop uh, toggle button on, on the vi on the uh, video for when you add images or branding logos to your Camtasia Studio video. Uh, if you have any more tutorial tips you want me to show you or create videos on, just let me know anytime. Uh, leave a message in this video. Thank you for watching.